Hey everyone, I'm Lauren. Welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. In this video, we are back here revisiting the Beyond Paint Kitchen Cabinet Makeover. We're gonna check in and see how everything's holding up, as well as answer a lot of your guys' questions that you had on the original video. So buckle in and let's get to it. This kitchen may look a little bit familiar to a lot of you because five months ago we were hired to come and repaint these kitchen cabinets as well as the bathroom and we used Beyond Paint for this. Now in five months there's been a lot of traffic in this kitchen so we just wanted to come and check out how everything's holding up between Christmas dinners being held, lots of people in and out. We wanted to see and test the durability of Beyond Paint. As you can see, since we left the kitchen when we were finished with the cabinets, there's been a lot of work done because the kitchen cabinets were just the first part in the process of making over this kitchen. Since we left, they've been painting and they've also hung up tons of awesome decorations and everything is coming together so nicely. Now I want to take you guys around to more of the higher traffic areas in the kitchen and see how this paint is holding up. So as you can see, the paint is holding up amazing. There are no chipping around the doors here that have a lot of traffic. All of the dishes are in here. All of the things that are used on the daily are in here and these are opened up every single day. Now, there were a couple of spots that did have a little bit of chipping and those spots were very high traffic areas. And I'm not going to shy away from telling you guys that because I think that being transparent in this is very important so that you guys can make your decision for yourself in using Beyond Paint. I already touched it up, but right here there was a little bit of wear and tear going on because this is where the silverware is kept. So there were a lot of fork jabs into the wood, which makes sense. But all you've got to do is have a little bit of that extra paint and touch it up here and there every once in a while. Something that is also going to help increase the durability of Beyond Paint is to make sure once you're finished painting that you wait two or three weeks when you're first done painting. You want to make sure that the paint has enough time to dry and enough time to cure. Sliding the drawers in hard or slamming the doors, that's all going to wear on the paint. And especially in those first couple of weeks, you need to be extra careful. I'm super impressed with just the finish of the Beyond Paint. After five months, I'm coming back and I'm scratching at it and nothing is happening here. You know, there's no chipping coming off right there. And I'm really also pleased with the finish in meaning how smooth it is. You know, you can see the wood grain but that was actually one of the most asked questions. So let's go ahead and hop into the question segment of this video. The first question I had is just basically what is this paint that you don't have to sand and you don't have to prime? Like that is basically, that goes against everything that I say when it comes to furniture. So why is it different with this paint when we're doing cabinets? So Beyond Paint is a paint that can be used for so many different surfaces. And right on the jar, it talks about how it is all in one. So that means that the primer is included in the paint, the color of paint is included in the paint, and then also the top coat is included in the paint. So that means that you don't have to prime and you don't have to top coat. All you have to do is do the recommended two coats of paint and then you will have full coverage and you will also have protection. One of the most asked questions was why in the world didn't you sand? Well, again, right on the jar, it says no sanding. So I took it for what it said and I made sure that I prepped these 
these cabinets like the jar said. So if you follow the directions and you make sure that you clean with that simple green and it's a degreaser so you get everything off of the cabinets, then the paint will adhere to the actual surface because it's a bonding paint. It bonds, primes, and seals all in one. So I did that and then you can see the finish and that none of that was necessary to get the most protection and to get it to bond to the surface. So the finish of this paint it was another highly asked question. So when I rub my hand across this, it has a very matte feel and look. So it's not shiny, there's no sheen to it. It is just a tad bit rough, but when I say rough, I don't mean that to be a bad thing. Um, it's self-leveling paint, so that means that even though I rolled it on and used that stippling motion with my brush in the creases, if you watch the original video, you can see exactly how I did that. Th that all leveled out, and I cannot even tell that this was rolled on or brushed on. There are no brush stroke marks, there are no rolling marks, Marks. So yes, this paint is self-leveling and the finish is just amazing. Along with the finish questions, we got a lot of questions about the, the wood grain of the cabinets. Now, these are oak cabinets, which I'm sure a lot of you have oak cabinets in your own home. And there's a couple of options. You can definitely redo your entire cabinets, put new ones in and so on and so forth. You can paint the cabinets as is, like I did, or you could also do a wood grain filler, which that would happen before the paint. If you're interested in doing the wood grain filler, more power to you, that is going to cost a little bit more. That is going to be a lot more time consuming. You're gonna to have to sand, and I don't even know all of the ins and outs of the wood grain filler, but after chatting with my client, we just decided that it really wasn't going to be worth the extra time and money and effort. So although you can see the wood grain, it's not something that takes away from the ultimate look. Beyond Paint is just an amazing product that makes it possible for anyone to do this type of project. You know, I have some experience painting furniture and I've painted a couple of sets of cabinets, but I'm by no means a professional. I'm basically just the average person just like you guys are watching this but again beyond makes it possible for us to do these types of things beyond paint can be found in our link down below in the description and a jar like this which is 32 ounces costs about 50 dollars and i know that that might be a little bit of shell shocking but trust me when i say that i didn't even use an entire jar of this paint when I painted this kitchen. We've got right around a quarter of the jar left in there. So this is true for the linen and for the licorice. So in reality, you know, for both the top and the bottom, I may have used just a tad bit more than one can, but you've got to remember that I didn't have to sand, so that eliminates some time. I didn't have to prime, which eliminates another product being bought, and I didn't have to top coat, which again, eliminates me having to buy another product. One other product that I would recommend if you are painting your cabinets is to grab the, the kit that is on their website. And that includes a paint tray, a 3 8 inch nap roller, which is what is recommended to apply this paint. And then they also throw in a chip brush for those hard to reach places like the edges and the creases in cabinets. Uh, you can spray this paint. I decided to go the original way and the way that Beyond recommends so that I could just make sure that I was doing everything to the T as the jar and the website states. So again, $50 for this and then about $15 to $20 for the, the kit. So if you need two jars of paint plus a couple of kits, you're in around $150 and then just your time.
Those were some of our most highly asked questions in our original video, but if you guys have any more questions that we may have missed in this update video, definitely leave them down below in the comments and we will do our best to get back to them. Before we head out, we also wanted to go check out the bathroom and see how that is holding up too. Wow, you guys, look at this bathroom. This has definitely come a long way since we first started. If you guys can remember, these were oak, this countertop was different, the lights were different, the sinks were different, everything was different, and it has come a long way since we left. The cabinets are holding up amazing. This blue is navy. A lot of you guys thought it was purple on camera, but I promise you it's navy and just wow i'm just going to show you how these cabinets are holding up both on the outside and the inside everything is looking great i really love the countertops that were chosen and then also the paint color on the walls everything just complements the navy cabinets down below but that's enough in here let's head back to the kitchen well, here we are five months later, and I'm just so happy with how these cabinets are holding up with the Beyond Paint. We got so many comments from people who were excited because they felt that they were able now to be able to tackle their own kitchen cabinets. And I'm so glad that that video did that for you, but if it didn't quite do that for you, I hope that this video checkup did because truly the Beyond Paint is holding up so nicely. And again, Beyond Paint products make this so easy, DIY and cost friendly. So if you guys are interested, these are linked down below in the description, as well as the paint kit that you guys can get that just makes the job even that much more easy. And the most important part we can't forget, you guys asked, what does our client think of her new cabinets and of course how they're holding up so what are your thoughts on it overall oh i had get so nice. many compliments on it yeah no i've been really happy with it so as you heard and saw, our client was just absolutely thrilled with how the cabinets turned out. She loves the colors. She continues to get compliments from people who come over to her house. So that just makes me even more happy to hear as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to get subscribed down below because we have a couple of more projects with Beyond Paint in the works, as well as tons of other paint products that we're gonna be using through out 2022 so we would love to have you guys along for the journey and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the flip side <music>